Hurricane Melissa rapidly intensified over the weekend and is now a Category 5 hurricane. The storm is expected to make landfall in Jamaica tomorrow morning as the strongest hurricane on record to strike the island, according to the National Hurricane Center. Melissa's outer bands are already lashing Jamaica with wind and rain. As the storm intensified, mandatory evacuation orders were put in place for several vulnerable communities, including parts of Kingston. We have never had the experience of a Category 4 or Category 5 hurricane. This is going to be huge. It appears virtually certain that the core of a powerful hurricane is going to move over Jamaica. Um, we don't know precisely where, but for all intents and purposes, it doesn't matter because the rainfall, the heavy rainfall and the catastrophic flooding at this point appear mostly locked in. The strongest known storm to affect the island was Category 4 Hurricane Gilbert in 1988. It destroyed more than 100,000 homes, wiped out power and communications, and killed 45 people. We are seeing much different weather here in the Mid-South. I mean, we're just kind of dealing with a little bit of chilliness and some mm -hmm. fog, but uh, you've been tracking, tracking the tropics. So uh, Hurricane Melissa, what are some of like the nuances you can tell us about why this storm is so scary? <laughs> so, yeah, it, it is a scary storm. Uh, Category 5 storms are the most intense uh, that we can get, yeah. and uh, they can pack quite a punch. So part of the reason why it has gotten so strong is because we've had this uh, sort of this jet stream mm. just to the east of Florida, north of the Bahamas there, and that's basically act, acting kind of like a vacuum cleaner. It's pulling wow. out a lot of air from that area, so it's allowing Melissa to just grow exponentially. And it's going to hit Jamaica tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. um, and as we can see, it's going to be a historical hit. So mm -hmm. is it rare to see this strong of a storm this late in hurricane season? Yes, but it's not unheard of. Okay. Around this time, if not a little earlier last year, we had Hurricane Milton, mm -hmm. also a Category 5 M name storm by coincidence, mm. um, but certainly a massive storm. Let's just take a look at it on infrared satellite here. Just an incredible storm. Now you see that pink donut, looks like a glazed donut there. That is cloud tops that are below negative 80 degrees Celsius. Some cloud tops even getting close to 90 degrees below zero. You see right there at the end of this loop, there's this massive pulse of dark pink there. Those temperatures are getting close to negative uh, 90 degrees. So an incredibly cold cloud top that equates to a very tall thunderstorm, which means we've got thunderstorms that are billowing 10 miles tall, if not taller than that. There's even some spiral gravity waves, a feature that I just learned about recently, but a very cool, uh, a very interesting storm from a meteorological perspective, but a very dangerous storm from the impacts. 175 mile per hour winds currently, that is a very strong, it's among the top 20 fastest winds ever recorded for a hurricane. And the pressure at the center of the storm is now down to 903, which is the ninth lowest pressure ever recorded in hurricane history in the Atlantic. So a very powerful storm. It is now just starting to crawl north at about two miles per hour over the next couple of hours tonight into tomorrow. It's gonna pick up speed and eventually move into Jamaica, very likely still as a category five hurricane. This is an uptick from that forecast, eventually making its way to Cuba as a category two hurricane. Meanwhile, the reason why we are so cool right now is actually what's going to keep it away from the United States. This big trough of low pressure keeping us dreary and rainy the next couple of days is directing Melissa away from the U.S. Right now we're at 57 degrees here in Memphis, 56 for the dew point, so that means the relative humidity is very high right now. We've got uh, potential for some fog to develop across the area tonight with that very high humidity. Looking at the satellite and radar, very quiet here across the Mid-South, just those clouds lingering. We've got the chance for rain through the day tomorrow, though. Take a look through the forecast here. By around 11 o'clock, we've got some of those showers moving in through the midday time frame. We're going to see just spotty showers through most of the day. Maybe a little more heavy rainfall as the cold front swings through just past midnight. That could kick up a little more heavy rainfall for us, but then cold air comes in behind, and that's going to bring in some more showers and breezy conditions on our way. Wednesday. Take a look at what that does to our seven day forecast for the temperatures. Tomorrow we're in the low to mid 60s for our highs. We'll be up to around 55 degrees on Wednesday.
That's what our closer to our normal low for this time of year is at 50 degrees than it is to the high. So it's going to be a dramatic shift as we go into Wednesday. By Thursday, we're slowly climbing out of it. A little more sunshine and less rain is going to help us slowly inch back up, but it's still a pretty chilly air mass Friday morning a low down to 42 degrees, but we'll still have the sunshine around to get up to 63. It'll likely be in the 50s by the time you're trick or treating in the evening on Friday. Then as we go through the weekend, we'll start to see those temperatures climbing back up through the mid 60s, maybe make a run closer to 70 by early next week. We'll be right back here on NBC 24.